The Timesheets module in Sage HR allows you to record the amount of time an employee has spent on a job. These records become the basis for you to calculate employee salaries. To set up Timesheets, click on your name at the top and choose Settings. From the menu on the left, click Timesheets, then choose General. Here, you are able to select the Timesheets administrators. A Timesheets admin is a unique employee who can view and do everything Timesheet related to an employee who has Timesheets. Under Permissions, you can choose to allow employees to export their own Timesheets reports. Decide whether time off policies will automatically adjust worked hours in Timesheets, and, you have the option of choosing whether to override already approved timesheet hours when editing time off requests. You can set up your timesheets so that public holidays in your calendar automatically reflect on timesheets as zero worked on that day. This is useful for businesses that don't work on public holidays. Under timesheet period you can decide the length of time you want the timesheet to show and you can also decide when a new timesheet should be generated. You can enable to have timesheets automatically pre-filled for employees from a working pattern or from scheduling, if they have the scheduling module. Pre-filled means employees only have to make amendments where there are differences to the hours they were expected to work. Timesheet viewing controls what you want to have showing on a timesheet. Contract hours shows working hours defined in a working pattern, the difference column shows the difference between the working pattern and the actual hours worked. You can choose to view the total overtime hours above the timesheets and you can view timesheets until the end of the year. You can also choose to show the hours in decimals, or in hours and minutes. Timesheet editing and submitting allows you to control whether employees can edit their timesheet hours and limit what they can add. You can choose to automatically submit a timesheet for an employee if they're away for a whole timesheet period. You can allow employees to edit hours work to be less than hours in their working pattern. If you deselect this, an employee can only add overtime. However, timesheet managers and admins can still edit hours to be less than the working pattern. You can allow employees to edit workday and allow them to edit start and end times in the main timesheet view. If not selected, employees only see the total hours for each day in the main timesheet view. They can still edit start and end time individually when they click on the selected day, but only if allow employees to edit workdays is selected. This option allows employees to specify the exact start and end time for breaks and you can limit the hours per day that an employee can add. Lastly, you can choose to limit the length of the employee's break time. The alert about difference from working pattern allows you to specify alert icons on a timesheet based on differences in the working pattern. Save your changes. From the menu on the left, click Overtime. Here you can decide how you would like to track overtime. You can choose to have each day looked at individually. If hours in the day exceed hours in default working pattern, then they count as overtime, or you can choose for the total hours within the timesheet period that exceeds the working pattern to be counted as overtime. Or, you can choose not to count overtime. If selected, all information about overtime is hidden. Even if an employee works more than their working pattern, the extra hours are counted but not as overtime. If you want to allow employees to move their overtime hours to an existing time off policy, select the specific policy here. You can create overtime categories if you need to differentiate between the rates at which overtime is paid and how it is reported, and you can assign the overtime categories to timesheet groups. Once you have completed setting up the overtime, click Save. Let's move on to time clocking. Clocking in is a feature that allows employees to clock in and out of work via their dashboard in Sage HR. These clocking times then show on employees' timesheets. If you want employees to be able to manually clock in and out for work to keep an accurate track of when they have been working, check the Enable Time Clock checkbox. Under Time Clock Rounding, you can select the number of minutes you want clocking in to round to. For example, 
Selecting 5 would mean that if an employee clocks in at 8.03, the system will record it as 8 o'clock. You can also choose to automatically clock employees out, which is useful in case someone forgets to clock out. Switching on alerts means that warning icons appear on timesheets for those days where employees manually edited their clocked out hours. Once you are happy with the settings, click save. The next menu option is timesheet groups. Here you are able to create multiple groups of employees and their timesheet managers, and ultimately give employees access to use the timesheets module. Click, add new group and give the group a title. Then choose whether to send a monthly reminder to submit timesheets, allow the employees in this group to clock in through API or on the mobile app only. Once you have made your selection, click save. Here you can select the employees and the managers who are part of this group. Take note that employees don't have access to timesheets until assigned to a timesheets group. It's also important to note that managers are the ones who will be approving timesheets for the employees in the same group. Now that the group is created, you have the option to edit or delete the group and by selecting eligibility, you can add more employees or managers to the group. The timesheet setup is complete. Thank you for watching.